Hi, and welcome to a new 3D equalizer for tutorial. This time I will demonstrate how to use the Add a 2D Tracks tool, which basically allows you to manipulate the tracking curve of a 2D track point. To start, we need a 2D tracking point, so let's select the feature in the scene, Control click to create a point, and track. For a better visibility, let's change the point's color to black. To open the Add to the Tracks tool, we have two options. Either we can do it using menu Edit, Add it to the Tracks tool, or we use the button label Edit Tracks in the manual tracking window. The Added to the Tracks tool is structured very simple. It mainly contains the grid with the position curves, a list widget, and some buttons and text fields. I'm showing you now how they are being used. The tool basically displays the points tracking curve split in a position X and Y curve to add them separately. The track frames of the curve are represented as control vertices within the tool. Even if there are obsolete parts in the timeline, they are displayed here as CVs. Now it's time to edit the tracking curve. Let's select a CV on position Y curve and drag it a bit around. To apply the modification on the tracking curve, it is necessary to export the tracks. So let's do this and boom, the tracking curve was modified. Pretty easy, right? Since dragging a CV isn't very precisely, the edit CV text fields at the bottom of the window might be useful for doing this. To activate them, just click Options, Enable Edit CV Fields. Now, when a CV is selected, the right text field is enabled to enter a new value for this specific frame. Export tracks, and here we go, the tracking curve was modified again. To undo a curve's manipulation, just use button revert to original. The original curve is always displayed as a thin dark line behind the curve CVs. Exporting tracks always manually could certainly become very annoying over time, so the Added to the Tracks tool provides a live editing feature. To activate this, just enable Options, Export Edits, instantly. Now, every time CVs are modified, these edits will be exported directly to the tracking curve. Also, the Added to the Tracks tool is just a Python script. It is connected to 3DE's main window in many ways. All the edits done here are stored in the points undo stack. So, if we just like to undo some steps and not revert it to the original curve, just use in the manual tracking window Edit Undo Point Editing. Modifying the track curve in the manual tracking window does not update the curves within the Added 2D Tracks tool automatically. Button Reimport Tracks does this and imports, as the label says, the current tracking curve into the tool. Please note that every time tracks are reimported, they are imported as the new original curves. So if we modify the curve again and revert it to original, the latest re-imported curve will be restored. But since every modification is stored in the undo stack, we won't have problems to undo all steps to get back to our real original tracking curve. Okay, these were the basic editing functions of the Added to the Tracks tool. Now, let me demonstrate some more useful features. Like in 3D Force Curve Editor, the Added to the Tracks tool provides a function to filter curves. In order to do that, 
let's select the CVs we like to filter, choose a value for the filter strength, and click on button Filter CVs to apply the effect. Here we go, now we have a smooth curve. But that's not really what we want to have, so let's revert it to original again. Beside that, the tool's edit menu provides different functions to edit CVs of curve, such as copying, pasting and deleting CVs, as well as flatten tangents and some more. So, let's copy some CVs from one position curve to the other. Select some CVs. Edit, copy CVs. Select the new curve. In this case, delete the CVs we like to replace. And paste. Please note that if both position curves are selected, the Editor to Detracts tool always pastes CVs into the first selected position curve. But these curves do not seem to be very useful to work with, so let's clean up this mess. To have more control over editing a complete position curve, the offset curve might be a useful feature. Let's say we would like to flatten the position Y curve a bit. So let's create two CVs on the offset Y curve. Since we like to edit just the beginning part, we should make sure that the second CV's value is zero. Now, moving the first CV down should do what we want. Clicking on button Bake Offset now adds every frame of the offset curve to the respective CV of the position curve. Oh, that was a bit too much, so let's drag the CV above zero. Bake Offset, and yeah, that looks fine. The Baking Offset procedure can also be done automatically. Activate toggle button options, apply offset curves when exporting. Now, every time tracks are exported, the defined offset will be applied on the position curves automatically. But for the demonstration of the next feature, we better undo this. Button Patch CVs provide a mighty function for deformations and offset of 2D tracking curves and was inspired by Wolfgang Niedermeyer's deformed track script. Thanks a lot again. Basically, when adding some CVs, Patch CVs applies these tweaks to the whole track. In this case, let's say we like to move a 2D tracking point on a different feature. First, let's copy our existing 2D tracking point. To differentiate it better from our existing point, let's change the color to white. Next, we're placing the point on the new feature in the first frame and the last frame of the scene. Let's go to frame 1, place it on the new feature, and do the same in frame 95. Better check again if you place the point on the same feature in both frames. Now, to make this point striking curve visible within the Attitude Tracks tool, we can use again Menu or Button as we did before. A third way is select in Menu Tracks, Import New Tracks. The text field below the menu bar indicates which point is currently displayed in the Edit 2D Tracks tool. Due to our modification in the first and the last frame, these CVs are not matching with the rest of the curve. Therefore, we should patch the other CVs. Okay, let's select all CVs except the first and the last one. Patch CVs now tweaks the selected CVs so they are matching with the non-selected without losing the character of the curve. Alright, let's do the same with position Y curve. Now, with just a few steps, 
The 2D tracking point is roughly placed on the new feature throughout the scene. Placing the point in more different frames should fix the curve a bit more. Reimport tracks to update the position curves. And here we go, there are two nice peaks. Next, we should repeat the patching procedure. Let's select all CVs except the two modified ones. Patch CVs to let the magic happen again. Alright, do not forget position X. The result is a bit better, but of course the point is not perfectly on the feature. Tracking it directly would be faster and more precisely, but I think this example demonstrated the functionality of patch CVs quite good. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a lot of fun with the Attitude Tracks tool.